All right, this video is to show you how to draft our front bodice sloper. This is in chapter three of your books on page 40. Um, before you get started, you should be very clear about your measurements. Your book um, has a standard measurement chart at the end of chapter two on the last page. For students doing this class online, I highly recommend just use the measurements, the standard measurements from one of the sizes given. Um, in this demonstration, I'm gonna use the standard measurements from size six. Um, in this class, the hybrid students, um, I'll open it up. If you would like to use your own measurements, you can take your own measurements and use those. It is just more challenging because our body shapes are so different and, um, and you know, these measurements use an hourglass figure so when we start using our own measurements um, our shapes don't always look like what's in the book so um, I mean it still works we still do a fitting it's kind of neat but I think um, if this is your first time it's probably a lot easier if you just follow the books given measurements um, okay so whatever measurements you choose <laughs> Start by going to page 40 and 41 and writing in all your measurements and doing all your math. That way it'll make all the rest of the steps a lot easier. Okay. So figure one, we're gonna be using the full length measurement, which apparently is number six. So number six, grab that here. Look at that, it says full length. We have front and back. Well, we're working on the front bodice. So we want the front um, measurement. I'm doing size six, which is the first column. So for me, my front full length is 16 and seven eighths. I'm just gonna write that down, 16 and seven eighths. But they want us to add one eighth inch, so we get to do math. Um, seven eighths plus one eighth equals eight eighths. Eight eighths is the same as one, 16 plus one is 17. So the right measurement I will be using is 17. Okay, so the next one, our cross shoulder, and then we have to do some subtraction. So cross shoulder is number 14. Okay, so I'm looking at my cross shoulder. We, again, we have a front and a back. Um, I'm using the first one for size six. My cross shoulder is seven and a half inches, okay? I'm just gonna write seven and a half. Subtracting one eighths, well, one half, is the same as four eighths. Four eighths minus one eighth equals three eighths. So my final answer is gonna be seven and three eighths. Okay. The next one is our center front length. Yay, we don't have to do any math. It's just number five. Great. So number five, center length front for size six, it's 14 and one eighth. Okay, then BDE is gonna be our bust arc, which is number 17. We have math again. So, so it's number 17, let's look. Okay, bust arc, we don't have to worry about front or back. It's nine and a half. Let's write that. Nine and a half plus one fourth. One fourth is the same as two. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. One half is the same as two fourths. So two fourths plus one fourth equals three fourths. So we need, we'll have nine and three fourths. Probably the hardest part of this is all the fraction math. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Um, our shoulder slope, we have to add an eighth inch. So number seven, our shoulder slope. We have a front and back choice, so I'm gonna choose the front. 17th, oh my, and 1 16th, oh my gosh. I'm only gonna work in the eighths. I'm breaking the rules. So I'm rounding this to the nearest eighth. It's gonna be 17, so I'm scratching that. So our front shoulder slope for size six is 17. 17 plus 1 eighth would be 17th and 1 eighth. Okay, uh, bust up, number nine. Our bust depth here is da, 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 number nine, nine and one eighth. No math needed, so nine and one eighth, great. Our shoulder length is number 13, great, no math, that's awesome. Shoulder length, five and one eighth. 
Okay, our bus span, we got math, plus one fourth. So our bus span, which is number 10 apparently, bus span, it looks like it's three and five eighths for my size. I'm just gonna write that so I know. Three and five eighths. Um, but they want us to do math. They want us to add one fourth. So this one fourth is the same as two eighths. Two eighths plus five eighths is seven eighths. So this will be three and seven eighths. Okay. Um, that's something else. There's no measurement here, so we can skip that bullet point. Across chest, that's number 15. We have math again. We have to add one fourth. So across chest, number 15, our chest front. We have six and a half. So let's just write across chest is six and a half plus one fourth. So one half is two fourths. So two fourths plus one fourth is three fourths. So the answer would be six and three fourths. And dart placement number 20 is three. No math there, fabulous. Okay, that's page one. We have two pages though, so let's just finish up. Um, okay, our new strap, we have to add one eighth inch. Oops, sorry, can you see that? Okay, so our new strap is, um, look at all this, is number eight. So we have 17, and we have to add one eighth. That will be 17 and one eighth. Great. Um, our side length is number 11. Awesome, no math. You know I love it. Okay, looks like it's eight inches and one eighth. Okay, great. Aha, our waist arc, number 19. We have to add one fourth, oh brother, and then we have to subtract a measurement that we haven't drafted yet. So I think what I'll do for right now is take waist arc number 19, and I'm just gonna write what that is, and I'll do the math formula when I get to that step. So waist arc number 19, six and a half. And we'll figure that out later. Okay, that's it. That's all we need for math, awesome. Now we can start actually drafting this guy.